Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Hey. Oh, I was just playing around here a little bit. Uh, I was going to make some bugs. You know, I, I was going to show you guys how the, uh, how the amperage control on the torch and the panic button on this Longevity 200EX work. You want to see it? Yeah. Come here. So with this amperage dial on the handle, you can see you can go from just about zero to five amps, and you can turn it all the way up to the max 200 amps on this machine. So it basically replaces the foot pedal, but it gives you that control right under your finger while you're welding. So the on-off button, and it's also a panic switch. So you press it, hold it for a second, and let it go, and it starts. You press and hold for a second, and let it go, and it stops. But while you're welding, if you find that you're a little too hot all of a sudden, you can just tap it one time, and it goes to half of whatever this amperage is set at. And then just tap it again, and it goes right back to your welding amps. So you get a little hot, you get a little pump, you, know, you get a little hole started or something, tap it, drop your amps, fix the problem, tap it again, right back to work. So let me put my helmet on, helmet on and I'll show you what happens on the table. So this is what the arc actually looks like when it's turned all the way down to just 5 amps. And as I sit there and just start turning the scroll wheel up, so that's 200 amps right there. And oh boy, I'm a little too hot. So I can just hit the panic button and go to half of that. Hit the panic button again and go back to 200 amps. And then just scroll that puppy down. And that's all the way back down to 5 amps again. That's cool. So that was what it looked like at 5 amps. You know, art kind of wandering around a little bit trying to find some place to go. My helmet was actually flashing. You know, it wasn't bright enough for the auto darkening helmet. You know, I could probably adjust the sensitivity a little bit and, and get it to stay dark again at that amperage. Nice, nice little feature. You know, re really handy little thing to have right there under your fingers. It takes a little to get used to. How long does it take to get used to it? A couple of hours. You know, you, you got to find a, a slightly different way to hold it in your hand so you know right where the button is and you also know right where the wheel is. And then you just got to be, you know, steady enough as you're welding. But once you get used to it, you know, it actually works pretty good. So, nice little feature. I'm going to go back to what I was doing. See you next time.